In this video, we're going to explore the evidence as to whether or not bunion correctors work. Now, bunions are bony bumps that form on the side of your foot at the base of your big toe, and they can develop over time when your big toe tilts towards your other toes due to repetitive stress. Bunions are actually really common, and they become more common with increasing age, and some people choose to use bunion correctors to straighten the big toe. Now, some people find that they help to reduce pain, but how do they work and do they actually work? We'll cover both of these points in the next couple of minutes. So first of all, how do bunion correctors work? Well, when a bone or joint is repeatedly stressed, your body compensates by producing more bone in that area. When your big toe turns inward, more stress is applied to the inner side of your foot, and over time, this leads to the formation of a bunion. Now, bunion correctors are designed to straighten your big toe and return it to its natural position. They do vary in design, but they often fit over the part of your foot like a sleeve, and they have a spacer that fits between your big toe and your second toe. Other bunion correctors are splints that keep your toe straight by supporting it from the side. Now, splints generally don't fit in your shoes, and they're generally designed for overnight wear. The strategy behind bunion correctors is that forcing your big toe back into its natural position will help it to stay there, even in the absence of the corrector. A little bit similar to how braces help to shift your teeth over time. So in this sense, the term bunion corrector is actually slightly misleading because they don't actually correct bunions, but rather prevent it from getting worse. So now you know the theory behind how they're supposed to work. Well, how effective are they? Well, interestingly, research suggests that bunion correctors aren't effective at realigning the big toe or getting rid of bunions, but they may help provide you with some temporary pain relief whilst you wear them. The few studies that actually examine the potential benefits of bunion correctors for reducing pain suggest they're unlikely to have a big effect or cause long-term results. In a small study that was done in 2020, a group of 70 people with bunions were treated with a toe splint or they received no treatment. There was actually no difference in big toe alignment between the two groups. However, the researchers found that the people in the splint group reported significantly less pain during walking, running, and at rest. In a different study that was done in 2008, again, researchers compared the effect of wearing toe-separating insoles versus a night splint in a group of 30 women who were aged between 19 and 45. All of these women had bunions. Women in the toe-separator group experienced pain reduction, but women given night splints didn't. Neither group had a significant change in big toe angle. Now, some people have suggested that bunion correctors might actually slow down the progression of bunions, but more research is needed to understand this effect fully. So, in conclusion, for many people, bunion correctors can help relieve pain and reduce swelling, corns and calluses, but the only way to really correct a bunion is by surgery. In most cases, this is the last resort for people who are in great pain and have got severe deformity. Even after surgery, there's still no guarantee that the bunion will be completely gone along with all of the symptoms. And I'm going to make another video on all of the treatment options that you've got for bunions at a later date. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful and that you learned something new. If you did, please like the video, leave me a comment in the comments section. It'd be great if you could also share your experiences with bunions to help other people. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel for weekly medical education videos. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, bye.